What is the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and what does Hamas want? Here's what you need to know. Don't worry, we're going to make it simple. Israel was officially established as a country in 1948 to provide a safe haven for Jewish people after 6 million Jews were murdered by the Nazis in the Holocaust. But while there had long been Jewish people in the area, at the time there was an Arab majority, as well as minorities including Christians, and together these people were called Palestinians, who didn't want to give up their land to establish a Jewish state. Britain, which had ruled the area as part of its empire, proposed creating another country for Palestinians that would exist alongside Israel. This would be called Palestine. But neighbouring Arab countries rejected the plan. They said Palestine should cover the whole area, including Israel, so they went to war. Israel not only won that war, it ended up controlling more land than was originally planned. Fast forward to today, Palestinians mainly live in two areas that were captured by Israel in 1967. These are the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. The Israeli government controls access to and movement within these areas, especially Gaza, which some human rights organizations say is like an open prison. Right now, Gaza and the area around the Strip is the center of the fighting. Since local elections in 2006, Hamas has controlled Gaza, but it's considered a terrorist organisation by countries including the UK and the US. Hamas does not recognise Israel's right to exist and believes that Palestine should cover the whole area from the River Jordan to the Mediterranean Sea. Both Hamas and Israel have been accused of war crimes for their attacks on civilians on both sides of the conflict. Until now, Israel has been well defended with its powerful military, its spying organisations and its Iron Dome, which usually shoots down rockets from Gaza before they can hit Israeli cities. And that's partly why this latest attack from Hamas is so shocking. It's bigger than anything that's come before and it looks like no one on the Israeli side even saw it coming. Hamas has killed hundreds of civilians and soldiers and taken dozens more hostage. Israel has responded by killing hundreds of people in Gaza. 